up, Jay Wayne. This too good. Play me some pimp so we can get them. My let's go to work. Perspective on what I'm healing from might not be your perspective on what your perspective rather what on what healing is because my understand like for example you went through something when you were young we went through the same scenario let's just say we both got knock on wood hit by a car when we was young okay now we scared of the highway okay my way of healing from that might not be the same way you do but if we both aren't afraid of the highway anymore why is my journey to getting there different from yours and I'm wrong because it is like that don't make no sense to me that's just someone who's still dealing with abandonment issues and wants to control everything. Yeah, well, that's most people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of these wishes is lost. There we go. We got to that quick. <laughs> See how quick that was? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> unison. That was very, that's just how you talk it out right there. On the couch <laughs> with Amanda Seals. There we go. Y'all scared of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I went to jail for whooping the motherfucker ass who hit me. <laughs> But that, but you, why is that wrong? That was your way of healing. I did my. You healed. I, I my, served my shit. You served your purpose. Yeah. You served your time. Damn, that's crazy. I was thinking about that. What? Just go back and get an old. Go get some old work. I mean, if they done gone through, you know, a journey or two. It's different though. Why? Ooh, that's different. I don't think so. I think it really just is a matter of. Who still wants the best for themselves and for you? And sometimes that's like, as basic as that is, I think that can be hard to find. You it know? is hard to find. I think it's safe. It's safer that's to very safe. somebody that you know, though. It's much safer because at least you know what you're getting. You know what I mean? You don't have to I thought that, that was the point of this you shit anyway. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to go through that, that preliminary process where you're trying to figure out if you like somebody before you give them some pussy. And then you've got to get to that point where you don't know if you like the fucking which is which is very, very, very swept under the rug in these relationships. That's like, what I'm scared that's to go what back I don't from. understand. See, what if you go back and she fucking completely different? Well, that's a blessing. I I've don't had, know. I've had this. I've I don't, I don't know. That's a blessing, but I'm talking about when you don't know somebody. See, most of the time when you just getting to know somebody, you sweeping under the rug like, you know, hey, let's go out to dinner, let's go to the movies, when in reality, you really just want to know if y'all fuck each other well. Because if you don't, then all of the movie dates and it's the dinner pointless. dates is pointless. But would you say that sometimes how y'all fuck is determined by the connection y'all had before you fucked? Uh-uh, see, that's what Does throws that me off. I don't want you matter. fucking me all respectfully. <laughs> I want you to fuck me like you was raised in a household with no adults. Yeah. I, I want you to, all that trauma and shit, bring that to the sexual table. Yes. Suck my dick like your heart broke. Yeah. Like you been like let down Like the nigga that broke your heart watching. Yeah. yeah. Disappoint your parents <laughs> on my Prove shit. A Prove a yeah. point. Yeah. Throw your home training out the window. <laughs> Show me your mama made a hoe. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing because I've done that. Right, uh, see? At least you're honest now enough you to say Look at the relationship you in now. You're prospering. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. I don't know. I think at the end of the day, you know. You know. I've had, well, I've had that. I've had a scenario where I, I did dust off another uh, i mean i think there's a lot of folks that like we met each other younger and then we 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 live double back so yeah, spun the double, block as they yeah, say yeah spun the block mm. so they say as they say and um wasn't the same damn wasn't the same didn't didn't have the same. to the point where i i had to pull him to the side and was like you know i think he had gone through a divorce i was like i think See them damaged she goods. She yeah. took the mojo. She took your dick off the she charger, damaged nigga. Goods, yeah. man. <laughs> she, she took your dick off the she charger, took champ, the and she left with the charger. charger. Well, if marriage sex is anything like they say it is, you ain't putting much effort into that. Nigga just showed up like, ah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's she left some him protocol. For a oh, that was some terrible dick. <laughs> that nigga gave her some pussy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was a right Now, you definitely need therapy. Your lady leave you for a lady, bro. Yeah, man. But it's but when you think about it, let's go deeper into the, 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 the wormhole. <laughs> let's go deeper into the wormhole. Can you really say that? Because the thing about it, we get one dick. The lesbian ladies get a choice. They get a myriad. So, you're going to be surprised to find out that more than half of them ain't even using dicks. 
They're using anatomy. That's a niche market. They're using anatomy class. Really? Some Apparently. of them using they know, toys, they know. and some of them, they, 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 they just natural. Yeah, the scissor. Oh! The, the, the See, is when you talk the about them, cut your shit off. <laughs> cut, your, cut your shit all the way off. God damn, what happened? Huh? Us. As she called movie, the people. Us. You calling people on us? <laughs> oh, that's you over there. Like, I forgot, missing. nigga. That's I'm you. Like, I'm missing I'm this. Because <laughs> this my nigga, and I'm not even thinking she's thinking of me. I'm like, she got <laughs> I know. regular nigga to me. I'm just trying, trying to give my guys a second to reset. You see, it still got the red lights on. That means we're going to hell. That's what that means. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna put that in perspective. We back. Chico, in you there. just this one ain't on yet. You just we're recently on. had a big controversy. You was giving you. Perspective on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You and your relationship. Oh, my God. The, listen. The you reaction. had a controversy? Yeah, I went on the Breakfast Club and said that I didn't want to be in a relationship with oh, you. Still he said, Oh, yeah, all the way. See, but see, there you go. That is the perfect response. You're still on that. Me and you have had this conversation years ago. Years. Years. Nothing has changed, but when it's new to people, they act like they have never heard somebody say, anything that's remotely close to what they believe or opposite of what they believe and i'm seeing that in the response because i don't understand how me saying i don't do something is in turn telling you you shouldn't and that's been the response like the response has been is like it, i said you shouldn't be in because a they want to be in a relationship with you no i don't know who these women are these are random people in the comments I have no connection to any of these people these they people are just all probably like, think if I met him, I could have a shot. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> well, they and I'm letting now. them know that they're they wrong. That like, but the thing is, but, but as a woman, I'll say this. Do you believe, this is the most simplistic question that you can ask a woman in my opinion. Okay. Do you believe that women want a man to be honest with them? That shit'll never work. I tell you, I'm look, um, it'll never work. You be out here telling women well, the truth, you ain't never gonna have shit. Okay, can I say this? I think we want honesty, but we want tact. They want you to be honest about everything else, but lie to well, them. What, what, what honest are you talking about? Cause some shit doesn't need to be said on either part. There you, that's what I'm saying. Fuck honesty. <laughs> but that's not not honesty. I mean, that's not, what is it, lying by omission? Sometimes you have to lie to keep shit sweet. I don't know if lying is the word. Sometimes I ain't saying like lying, hiding you know another mean? family. I'm just saying Sometimes them lies. The pot, yeah, them you know lies that make shit feel good. You feel me? Oh, you look lovely in that dress, yeah, baby. Them, them type of lies. Conversational lies. Like we happy over here. My girl would never like that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little relationship lies. Mm. Them like nails to keep that shit together. I mean, I think people. I think people in general want honesty when they want honesty. And I think that's the thing. It's like sometimes you just ain't ready for it. So when it hits you, you're like, ooh, I, I wasn't ready. So it's it's knowing that the, you need the honesty, but also making space for it. And I think a lot of people don't make space for it. To go, you made space I for it? I don't give a fuck what you made space for. When was, I'm what telling year you, was your last the relationship, you Chico? Me, this is who I am. This is what, so if you're not ready for it, you have the so choice to move away getting, from it. What are they getting from you if they engage with you? What do you mean, what are they getting from me? Like, me? What, is, like what is the, what is the commitment? Like, what is the, the commitment is. What is the arrangement, I guess? Well, there is no conventional arrangement. Like, the, the thing is, the if you, the, the, well, I would call it an understanding. If okay. you deal with me, like, people always say, this is two things I hear a lot. You're going, you, who wants to be old and lonely, and who hurts you? Those are the two things. But who hurts you is real. You definitely don't want to be old and lonely. You need somebody to run down there to Walgreens to get you some which of them is, shoes with the Velcro on. Exactly, and, exact, and <laughs> some of them compression up. socks. Yep. I agree. Yep. But Hold up, my what thing year was your last relationship? What year did you decide? Fuck this shit. Oh, seven. 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 Word. Fifteen so what, years. What yeah. about that made you be like, I'm done with this shit? Self-reflection. I've never had the luxury of running away from facing myself and being and doing the self-reflection that you have to do as a man to be okay with what you present to the. You ever fucked the relationship up? Huh? You ever fucked the relationship up? I I'm talking about many relationships. A whole up. relationship. And the only one I actually <laughs> count is the one I followed the rules in, where I didn't cheat and wasn't lying and wasn't full of shit. You know, I, we jumped off the porch early. So you did it. You did it wrong a few times, and then did you did it right. All the time, then I did it right and realized it's okay, the same shit. It's the same like shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's a breakthrough. You know what I mean? I knew 
it's the same shit. And you so did why, it quick. So you why did it participate quick too. in that mental? But back to your question. So what the arrangement is, is there is no way that, in my opinion, I can end up lonely because I've never put myself in a position where you would need to leave me. Bruh, because and plus, if you I look am, at the motherfuckers in the world, ain't nobody am, lonely. And who I am is not conducive to what I need from you. Well, I, but I, uh, No, say what you I say. Think, you know, this is what we do. We have no, these no, conversations yeah. I all think, the time. No, I think that you won't be lonely just because you're making a choice to be a loner. So that's a choice, you know? Well, very people, much so. And I love my, I'm my own lonely. best friend. The people who end up feeling lonely are the folks who feel like they are not making the choice, like, you mm -hmm. know? And so that's that's why you get a lot of women who are like, I'm, I, I'm single, bitch, and I love it because when you that's make hurt. the choice. That's hurt, that's pain. No. That's pain. No, sometimes it's just nice to not have no nigga that can make you cry around. Niggas shouldn't be able yeah, to make you cry anyway. Be making you cry well, anyway. unfortunately, that's just the reality of but, things. You, well, but that's the thing, if, if, if you don't want to be made cry, if you don't want a nigga to make you cry, why would a nigga that's telling you all the things that he's not going to do make you sad in any capacity. If you know, if you go into a room, if somebody say, hey, when you walk in here, there's gonna be some crackheads, they're gonna and be they smoking naked, crack. They're smoking crack, <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> blow it in your face, and then they're gonna rub boo-boo <laughs> on your forehead. If you know that and then still decide to walk in that room, that means you like boo-boo on your forehead and crackheads. Oh, 1,000%. So where would you have a problem in that if that is being presented to you before you walk in the room? The only way it would be a problem, in my problem opinion, is the, disappointment. the judgment that will come from other people. Like, you like crackheads and boo-boo? No, I think what it's disappointment? Just a disappointment. Like, that, cause that they means you had like expectations. Well, they know they don't like crackheads and boo-boo. And if that's all you're offering, you're like, damn, I wish you were offering something I could actually get down with. Right, before you walk in the door, though. You don't walk in when you know that that's not what so you want. So you're saying that they're they're upset that you are telling them ahead of time no, something that they don't No, nobody that I'm telling this is no, upset with me. No, the people in the, the, people in the, the comments The people in the comments are just upset. mad because I, as a man, I don't think that they're used to seeing men uh, be honest publicly. Most men okay, are afraid to say question. that they feel the way that I feel oh, I out loud. I don't think loud. that's what it is. It's really just that most men aren't public honest. Aren't, most men aren't honest. Mm -hmm. aren't publicly honest, and so the conversation can't even be had. Exactly. How, was, how are these really comments weird. affecting your love life? <laughs> None, because ain't nobody who I fuck with not heard this shit before. Mm. It's not new to anybody who knows me. You just heard her say, well, you're still on that week. <laughs> this is not new to anybody who really knows me, so it's strangers who is upset with the way that I choose to live. But that's your right. I'm not mad at you. So you ain't fucked with nobody real, real hard. I in the with last, everybody I'm saying real, in the last hard. 15 years, yes. and you was just like, and they're all still she around. She might be the, so they're all is, still so around. This, this now that, hold on, hold on. Now that's a feed in his fucking self. They're all still around. Even if they're not, and that's the thing, but people go straight to same, sex. But do they have the same mindset about relationships as you? Now they do. Do they you have, stop they, fucking them when they get a boyfriend? Yes, I have to. But that doesn't Why stop you have me to? because it I'm does. not I'm not into Why? Hold ruin. Up. Wait, 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 wait. Why? I, because I'm not into ruining nobody's happiness. Yeah, that, but you is. was fucking up first. But it doesn't matter. Who's that? She's not a possession. That's like somebody. But I'm not no. saying it's a but possession. It's That's right. You, he just said, said like, if I'm fucking up Lose. first. Yeah, if I trade, like, time out. No. You fucking mind now. You fucking mind. No. You fucking mind. No. You should be. I disagree. But that's the thing. If I trade in the car, if I trade in the car, I can't just tuck up back and be like, hey, nigga, that's my old Cadillac. Get the fuck out the driver's seat. Yes, but if he wrecked this Cadillac, I know I'm the only nigga that can put this bumper back on. <laughs> <laughs> when this but, nigga wrecked this shit, who they gonna call to come get leasing, this shit? She was leasing uh, this nigga. And your she name is on the title. That's the difference. That's your the name, difference. you are on the title. It's a rental. But and the it's thing is, it's not man. always about women go straight to fucking. Like, they don't like the fact that you think a man is just out here just giving BV away, and that's not what Take it is. Take pussy completely off the table. Take it off Se the table. Sex is completely Sex is out the the last equation. thing on my mind. Like, if I'm able to build with you, then we're able to build for a lifetime. Right. I don't need no pussy from you. I can right. jerk off and nut like Fuck that. Fuck the pussy. Can you leave her in the house without right. her without, fucking with all with my shit. shit and without you fucking with nothing? Could I trust you to be somebody that I can depend on to help me the way that you're going to depend on me to help you as a man? What makes that relationship different from just a platonic friendship? Uh, because I have the option of fucking if I decide to. Right. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm going to put the whole thing. I'm never going to allow you to. No, I'm, just... I'm cool with... <laughs> 
you know, okay. not fucking, but can't fucking, that's not. That's different. <laughs> that's different. That's different. We don't ever have to have sex, but you're not going to put me in a position where you tell me I could never have. No. Right. Who you got on your prize picks? Man, that's what I'm trying to see, man. I'm trying to get my prize picks together right now, man. Oh, um, I take Devin Booker. Man, you know he going to put something up. Yeah. You know, I got to ride with my boy Jai, man. You know, he 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 come he he never disappoints. Now I be betting on all kind of stuff like the three pointer nade, the rebounds. Like oh, I, I get on them rebounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you seven foot, boy, you, you better pull in something, dog. Bro, I can't believe people don't know about this, man. They paying out too, and they giving you up to a hundred dollars matching. That's how I got started. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you put a hundred, they yeah. gave you a hundred. Yeah, and you had two hundred. Where you at now? How much you want? I can't talk about that. For tax purposes? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I don't want nobody asking me nothing. How you play, man? How you? Prize hey, pick. Hey, man, pick. <clears throat> this is the beauty of it, though. You can, you can pick your favorite player. Yeah. You can rock with them. They don't have to be your favorite. Well, it's some players I believe in. I just don't believe in their team. Right. Yeah. So you can bet on the individual players. Right. All their stats. Whatever you know the most about, that's where you're going to get the bread at, bro. Now, they really done took it to a whole nother level, though, because it's like right there. Look, this is where I'm at with it. Oh, yeah, you in there. I flipped $100 a hundred times. You in there. What's the lowest you can bet? Let's see. If you're doing that, you probably shouldn't be doing it. If, if you got if you got to go to the Yeah, lowest. if you bet a dollar, you can win three. Don't do it if it's your last dollar. But <laughs> f it. I mean, what you going to do with that dollar anyway? <laughs> I'm trying to win that three million. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't know about that. Yeah, you can go up to however much you can stand on prize picks. I'm on that now. Yeah. What you doing? Get on there. Hey, make sure you go hit the website, Prize Picks, and use the promo code 85 South. One of the coldest apps out. One of the dopest, like you can bet in game, first half, second half, rebounds, no. points, assists, tripping falls. How many times the hot dog man gonna come through? And it ain't just sports. Yep. You can bet on Call of Duty. They got um, <clears throat> FIFA. Race car driving, but now what's, we back naming sports. Shit with Hold the on. soccer. You can bet on comedians who can make you laugh. No, nah, that's Oh, we no, gotta no. be in it. We gotta, no, no, we gotta no, no, have no. some good ass eyes. We I'm gotta be playing. favorite. You can bet on MMA, tennis, but I'm trying to learn a little. I, you know, I'm on the hockey too, real bad. I'm, I'm still rocking with the Ducks. Ain't nobody rocking with my boys from Anaheim. The Mighty Ducks? Yeah, ain't no other Ducks. Oh, oh with the Oregon, but yeah. that's college. It's all good, bro. I'm about to see what I, what I can pull off. Look, I'm really on prize picks right now. I don't know what you doing. Oh man, I done showed y'all my balance. Blur it out. Blur that, blur that. Blur it out. Blur that out. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you punk motherfuckers. What are we doing? Hey, yeah, yeah. hey man, check this out. April 30th. Come we're on. We're going man. to Denver, Colorado. Yes, we is. Three headed monster, boat. man. The Bell Cove. We're going to be at the Bell Cove. Theater. Because, you know, three headed monster. Like, you a monster. Yep. And then I'm a monster. And then okay. you go a monster. And then it's. A we put it all like in one little dragon monster. tail. Dragon tail, dragon tail. No, it's no some shit harder than dragon tail. Like, oh. Like some dragon balls. But you know, dragon tail had like two headed monsters. We just added another mother on it. Nah, they got. Nah. Oh, okay. Just like in. <laughs> nah, nah, not dragon nah, tail. Nah, nah. nah, but yeah, Denver. See, it's the we, it's the different we that we gonna be on when we go to the Belco Theater. I hope you're good this time. Man, yeah, so check that out. 85 South Show, me, DC Young Fly, Chico Bean. You know Come it. to a theater near you. Ho, 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 ho. Ah, ah, ah. You got the laugh right. Ah, ah. Hey, like if I grab your book. ass and you move, I'm, I don't even like you no more. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say that. I Go will, ahead. I will. I okay. will. Nah, no, but like, like if I like hug you and you give me like a sad hug, I'm like, whoa, who is? This is not what I thought it was. Cause they done got a man now. Yeah, I mean that's cool. <laughs> but <laughs> like, but the thing is, like, if somebody, I'm not going to like me and you are partners. If we out, so you got a man and all that. But if I'm somewhere and me and you are having a good time, we partying, we having a good time. I'm at your house, we kicking it with you. I don't want nobody feeling like, what the fuck is you doing with her? Whatever the fuck I want to do. Like, you don't have the ability to be able to tell me what I can and cannot do with anybody, nor will I allow you to put yourself in a mental space where you think you have that authority over me. 
I'm not gonna allow that to even happen. You need to write a book, but it I needs am, to be a workbook. Yeah, I know. Like, it needs to have spaces where people can fill in. <laughs> That's a good idea. But I think it's just, it's just different people want different shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. you want that, and some people don't. Want to be able to drive a car after they leave, they give it away. Like, some like, niggas really like that there's, like, one person. It's like, they oh, like yeah. the simplicity. Yeah, I, I of, agree. Salute to them niggas. You know? So there's that. You know and what I mean? And vice versa. And then there's people that just, you know, that are fluid. They want a full range of... Freedom. And if you can have that, and that's the thing, America is the only place, one of the only places where you have that mentality. Because if you go other places in the world, the shit that we do is like, what do you mean? You only have one woman. You're a poor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You're ugly. <laughs> Nobody likes you. You have one woman. Mm. <laughs> then they go offer you some shit to eat. I tell you, mushrooms. <laughs> where we at, though? Where we at? Mm. Uh, is it that time? I think so. Let me hear that just a little bit, J.O.N. What's that? Sound like some shit your grandfather get put out to. <laughs> Grandma just sick of your shit. Mm -hmm. It's the middle of the day, about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The mail ain't even came yet. All Johnny shit on the porch. Mm -hmm. And you better not fuck with it. Yeah, you can pull up on your bike. Man. You riding your bike. You don't even know what's going on. You see granddaddy walking up to the house, getting out the Cadillac. You're like, hey, granddad. Exactly. And then he pissed off because it ain't pay week and he got two cigarettes left. Yeah. One of them wet. And it's in that pile of shit, in that pocket that she put out. And he can't find it. Nope. That's what set the argument off. Yeah. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show. <laughs> Voted the number one black show by black people who slept with a do-rag on before. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. I got my motherfucking player partner all the way from goddamn Whoville, Chico B. Yes, uh, uh, we're in here. I don't even think I needed it. I thought you was about to announce. No, the, bro, the, uh -uh. The... fuck that. Fuck that. I had to announce you, bro. They be asking, because every episode you're not on, they try to make it seem like we just didn't cut you out the whole rotation. Yeah. Well, goddamn, where Chico at? Yeah. The nigga didn't fell out with him again. No, nah, yeah, I don't understand why they said, you think you catch him like that. This nigga only show up for niggas he want to meet in person. Like, what? Motherfucker, like, what? I don't live in Atlanta. Oh, like, that's the only reason. If I lived in Atlanta and then I said I don't live in Atlanta, nigga was like, well, nigga, get a place there then, nigga. <laughs> Ain't that shit crazy? What the fuck you waiting on, nigga? I'm like, all right, you a leasing agent, nigga, find me one. God damn. I wanted to introduce you first because we got a very special guest yes. in the trap house with us today. Yes. You know, it's not, it's not often that we get ladies of this caliber. I'm very nervous. Stature. Of this stature. I'm very nervous. Of this magnitude, of this character. Oops. We really have one with us today, bro. All right. I'm talking about a ghetto legend. All the way. <laughs> no, that's the name of the that's tour. That's the name of the tour. Bro, I've been watching this girl since goddamn my brother and me. Me yeah, too. Since damn. goddamn cop and a half. Wow. Yeah. Since since uh Amanda Diva was the VJ. Wow. Yes. Hell yeah. All the way. We can do this all day, all man. Day. We can She's talk smart. about. Funny. She's funny. She black. Yeah, she black. <laughs> That's a major one right She be there. online going out in on them folks' All the ass. way. If you ain't never seen her, come out the side of the view with the, with the camera. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. I don't like she Very black. opinionated, strong, smart, independent. Cold as a motherfucker on a trampoline. Come on, man. Real hip hop head. Yes. All that. What well, you can say a lot of great things, but none other than Amanda Seal. Come on, man. Make some noise for her. The on, Queen man. is among us. What's up, y'all? Well, welcome to our trap house. It's very nice in the trap. Make yourself at home. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't live in no shit like this, but you know. It's... Oh, I've done my time. Really? Yes. I lived in a basement in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. What point of your career was this? College. I lived in a basement in Brooklyn for a summer. Uh, when you walked in, you had to go through the kitchenette. Uh -huh. You know, when it's a net on the end of it. That yes, means it's a little. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you had to go through the kitchenette to get to the bedroom. But at night, you you didn't turn on the lights because it was going to come alive. So oh, yeah, would, it should be moving. It would be floor is lava. So you would run through the kitchenette and jump on the carpet, you know, and then 
You know, you just kind of turn on the light to see what's going to greet you. Sometime, one time, it was slugs crawling up the wall that was Like, more than one? Uh, yeah, you live yes. in Candyman I, apartment. I, I did. <laughs> like, it's a kind, it was the kind of place where I had to make a decision in the middle of the night. If I had to get up to piss, I had to make a decision. Like, am I going to do this at the threat of, of seeing some type of critter shit? Like, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is there something that's going to crawl out? the toilet and crawl into me. Like I, you Damn. know, so. You gotta put your shoes on to go to the yes, bathroom. Yes, I did my time, I did my time. Like, so. was was that by choice or by circumstance? I mean, I could have gone home to Orlando to my mama house, but it was like, no, I'm gonna be in New York. So. Yeah, circumstance. Circumstance. And oh, by choice. choice. Choice, my bad. You know, but I, you know, I stayed in New York that summer and I, I thugged it out and, uh, you know, we, I was working at a restaurant like on the Upper East Side and I would come home to Brooklyn at like 2 a.m. in the morning and my man would come and meet me because I told him that uh, when I was coming to Brooklyn, niggas would, would be like yelling out gang shit to me <laughs> when I was walking from the train and I was like, I feel like I might get jumped. Are you serious? Like niggas just yelling out random gang shit? Yes. At women? Was, at <laughs> women, niggas? <laughs> the fuck she supposed to say? Oh, I'm interested <laughs> like, in that. Can I, I get a little more information? What the fuck yeah. is wrong with you niggas? Hey, Listen. This must have been Bro, the I'm gang. I'm so sick of these niggas in these gangs. Bro, everybody they not playing, just my nigga. getting it to New York. Leave regular people alone. Like, Listen, God I was in damn. Harlem. I was in Harlem. When I, when I lived in Harlem, I remember I had a red coat. I had a red coat, and a nigga came up to me and was like, what's up, what's up, what's up, Red? What's up, Red? And I was like, I'm good, I'm good. And he was like, oh, for real? What that red be about? I was like, my nigga, how we go from you hollering to you, what is it? Uh, yeah, shit. Set threatening. tripping. <laughs> yeah, set tripping. That nigga that nigga is set, fuck set, set tripping. tripping. He was threatening how you. How do we do that? How? Tell, us, tell me how you got your career started, because that shit go back to childhood. Um, I got my career started because I grew up in Orlando. Well, I was born in LA. I lived there till I was eight. I moved to Orlando when I was eight. And like a few months after moving to Orlando, my mom woke me up one morning and was like, hey, I saw an audition in the newspaper for Disney. Do you want to go? And I was like, you just want to go for you. I honestly don't know where I you even got You said that to your mom when you was eight years shit. old. I don't even know where I got that from, but I told her that and she was like, shut up, let's go. So we went to the audition and it was um, like 1,500 kids and we had to do Disney choreography, like And then I got a call back. And so uh, You were I, already a dancer at this point though, right? I mean, I was taking dance classes, you know? But I was eight, like I, I wasn't, I mean, these kids on Instagram are dancers at eight, you know? They're doing whole competitions and shit. I wasn't doing none of that. Yeah. But, um, but I ended up getting it and I was the only black kid, and so that was the other thing. That was the first time I experienced racism. Shout out to that affirmative action. <laughs> well, they let me know that every day. Every day of that show, they were like, you know you're only here because you're black. And I was like, that's fine with me. We're, fine with me. I'll back. take some jobs now just because I'm black. I, <laughs> I swear to God listen. I would. So that was the beginning. And then, you know, my mom started asking around and shit, and uh, then I auditioned for Cop and a Half. And Whatever uh, happened to that little boy? You know, he was following me on the Instagram. <laughs> and he, I had posted something from Cop and a Half, and uh, people were saying in the, in the comments that they loved the movie and everything. And he was, com he was responding to every single comment. It just got a little excessive. I'm sure you blocked him. So your block list then, long as fuck, Amanda. Yeah. She'll you get you up your out of block it. list long as fuck. Yeah, it She'll is, get you it up is. out of this. I don't just I don't just remove follower. I'ma block you. I'ma block you. Cause I don't really like that. Cause I feel like if I didn't block you, you still in my aura. Like you're still in my space. Like the I the the idea of being able to block people like was incredible to me because you can't really do it in real life. So like the fact that you can do it is like I can really just that's done. You done. You out of here. Well, what brings you to a point of of blocking someone? Because I know you and I have had plenty of dialogue where we disagree or you disagree with something. Nigga, y'all ain't me. disagree for real. You ain't get blocked. I mean, we've had. I block 
blocked you, right? Of course. Yeah. I've been well, blocked. We, you've never blocked me, so I guess we didn't disagree that bad. <laughs> no, it's but, not that. It's like, I remember, I'll give you an example of one that we had a dialogue about something about. It's a love know. block. It ain't like a fuck you block. Yeah, right. <laughs> I see Amanda in his love. She know but I'm blocked. We were having a conversation about something that we did on the show that you disagree with, and we had a long conversation about it. So how do you find the balance of you know, being able to have dialogue where you might not agree versus fuck you, nigga, you out of here. What's the, what's the, is, is well, there because, a point? Well, first this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way that we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85South today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85South. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. And you know I kicked off my own tour because at the end of the day, I got to be on tour and I want to go back to one of my favorite cities in the world, New Orleans. What's happening, baby? Fellas, you ever get mad at your side bitch because she asked you to eat her pussy? Like, ma'am, I am in a relationship. <laughs> you think I disrespect my lady out here just eating pussy like this? Come on, man. March 24th, I will be at the Orpheum Theater. Tell everybody, I need the whole boot there. Boot up and bring my little boot from across the way, too. And all the people in Mississippi who live down south, gon' dry down there. You know how we doing. Act like it's my birthday. March 24th, we're in New Orleans with it. Bring me some beads and show me some titties. Definitely show me some titties, even if you don't bring the beads. All right, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a better person. First of all, you, you, you are an intellectual. Like, you will have the conversation. Right. And you will keep it at a conversation. So it's not, you don't go out of character. You've never gone out of character with me and I've never gone out of character with you. It's just a conversation. And I think at the end of the day, you're genuinely listening. Right. Like you're not just like responding so that you get your shit off. You're right. like reading what I'm saying and then actually responding to what I'm saying and vice versa. At the end of the day, you know, you're just not a fuck nigga. That's really what it is. And you I'm know, a fuck nigga? In the past, you've had fuck nigga moments. Oh, um, well fuck it then. <laughs> but that's just really been based on you being like, I don't want to have a conversation. Mm. I ain't big on conversation. <laughs> I'll just say my shit and leave. I don't give a fuck what you so say you after that. <laughs> say whatever the fuck you but want to. Huh? Sometimes I go back and be like, hell, 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 hell. <laughs> <laughs> I just type some shit. Decode it. Fuck it. That's why I don't give a fuck about social media. Most of my real friends ain't even on that motherfucker. Yeah. I, I get on that I bitch and block, say whatever I, I want to. I my real friends from social media That's for a time because I went through some shit publicly. What? That they did not. Well, when I got escorted out of a, a party that I was. Let's talk about to. it. I mean. You should have called us. We would have goddamn came out there and kicked it with you. I would have been like, that what? So, at this point, this. point, at this point, people have their version of the story that they want to believe, and so it, it's like it, it's, it defeats the purpose of me even talking about the truth because they don't want to hear the truth. But at the end of the day, my friends saw the shit going down publicly and did not say nothing to me. Because when I hit them after, like, you see the shit go, why you, why you haven't I heard from you? They're like, oh, I, I guess because I was watching it on your... On your live and yeah, shit. Yeah, that I felt like I was talking to you because I saw it on Instagram. And I was like, oh, well, then I know we're going to have to block, we have to cut this because you didn't talk to me. It was a one-sided situation. How did y'all work that out? Support. How did y'all work that out? Because you went back to work after that. Oh, uh, how do we work that? Because I'm really mature. That's how we worked it out. I'm really mature. And at the end of the day, I understand professional dynamics. And when you work at a place where you are not the boss, you need to 
carry yourself a certain way and you need to address things a certain way. And so... <sighs> Well, how do you, how do you, how have you, because you, you have, you have been given, you have been given the, uh, Tell me the, about the, it. The, yeah, we, we definitely know. This nigga know. I but, know. But, uh, you have been given the stigma, and I've seen you address this a couple times, but, like, a lot of, I think this is a, a good perspective for us, all black women to have, like, you've been given Don't the ever say all black women. That's for true. Real, for real, I would say all, because a lot of them get, this stigma put on and they're hard to work with or oh, difficult yeah. to work with. I don't even know where that started. I literally, I don't know, like, so, I feel like somebody started that shit that never even worked with me. Like, I don't know where that started from. Well, what do you, why, well how do you, how did you get to the point of addressing it? Like, has it, if you don't know where it started, did it get to a point where it started to affect you in re real life? Um, not in my workplace. No, I've, n I've never had that be a conversation in my workplace. I've only had that be a conversation on the internet. Like, I ain't never been at a job where they're like, you know, you're difficult to work with, let's talk about it. I have. <laughs> like, I've never, like, I've never had that, I've never had that at Insecure. Um, I, you know, at The Real, my issue was y'all, y'all are difficult to work with. You know, it wasn't uh, vice versa. And, um, you know, I think for the most part, at this point, I'm a G, like I'm a veteran. I've been in this game long enough to where I work with the people that I like. And I think that once you get to a point where you've established that, it makes life a lot easier. But also like, I'm an efficient worker. So I think most people fuck with me because I'm gonna make sure the shoot ends early. Like that's gonna happen. If, it, if it's me at the helm, I'm gonna read the shit out this prompter and we gonna get out this bitch early. And everybody likes that. Well, in that case, thank y'all for coming to the 85 South Show. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> nah, but you know, I always say, because you know, my Did you enjoy your time on The Real? Did I enjoy my time on The Real? Um, I mean, I enjoyed some of it. I think that was a real, like, weird time, just for me in general. Like, I just wasn't, I was going, like, 2019 was like a really, like, fucked up, but like, also dope year, like, simultaneously. And that, that, I, I don't think I've ever experienced, like, extremes like that. Like career wise, it was like extremely good, but then like because I was more visible, like the shit that wasn't good was like more magnified. Yeah, it was magnified. And so I just didn't have like the the thick skin or the real like confidence to really like de or support really to deal with it. And so by the time I got to the real, I feel like when I was on the real, it was kind of like um, it was what I thought was gonna be a solution. And I thought it was gonna be like, okay, I get to go over to this place and it's gonna be a different energy and I'm gonna get to talk about things and you know, cause it's, it's, a, it's a new vibe, but it didn't change the fact that like, I just had internal shit that wasn't like fully resolved. And so the, because of the toxicity of that place, like it exacerbated the internal shit. And then, you, and then I had a nervous breakdown. I exacerbated at work one time. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Hey, welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show. Legendary one in here with us. Uh, did you think that, or did you know that Insecure was gonna have the cultural impact that it had when you first got on there? And shout out to all the people who thought you was pregnant for real. For real. I was also pregnant on that show for two and a half years. That was a long time wearing that shit. Um, I think everybody did. Like, I think, you know, there was just kind of a, a, a uh, a groundswell that Issa had already built, you know, with Awkward Black Girl. So she had kind of put herself in pocket already. And HBO at that point understood what she wanted to do. So they were finally, you know, getting behind her with that. And so I think when you have those two things, it, it sets you up for a win. So I, I knew that it was gonna be um, something dope also because there wasn't any like shit like that at the time, like there wasn't a girlfriend, there wasn't a living single, like there wasn't any like women, you know, fucking and living life type show for that generation. So yeah, I knew. Yeah, I like Issa. Yeah. She do her sex scenes with her bro. I feel like she do that shit in real life. <laughs> it's real. That's some shit to notice right there, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know what I mean? He's just saying that never said let the titties she, You don't watch the show? I've, I, I, it's I, a real. I've never She's the first the black woman let a fat dude hit it on TV. Word. <laughs> Think about it. She let the fat dude hit it. 
Nah, nah, that ain't true. Who? Who? Uh, wait, was it waiting to exhale? Now nah, yeah. that was in the that I'm That's talking. That was 20 fucking years ago. But you said it on movie. TV, but still, it's on TV. Oh well, I mean, you're yeah, right. That's you might be right. It's a film. You might be right. Fat dudes got their own TV show and don't get a sex scene. <laughs> this is absolutely true. Yes. Yeah, you're absolutely right. All the way. That's a good point. You been getting some dope ass jobs. That's why when people be like, "You hard to work with," I'm like. <laughs> If I'm so hard to fucking work with, how do I keep getting good jobs? You hurt that little rapper dude feelings though. I know. When you, what's his name? Weird to what's, me. What's his rapper that you? D. D D G. D D G. That's little woo wop uncle, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Little woo wop. Little, you don't know little woo wop. <laughs> Who the fuck don't is that? talk to me, I'll murder you! You know. Oh, you're oh, you talking about, oh, I wanna kill my you know? yeah. I wanna kill my dad, yeah. that little Ooh, nigga. Got okay. that. Yeah, got you. Now what what did you say? She well, what told did that girl to break up with him. That no, made you I make made the comment that you made. <laughs> See? He made a joke, and then I made a joke, and they took my joke seriously, but didn't take his joke seriously. See, that's what the curse of joke? being a comedian. You can't just be using jokes on regular people. <laughs> what was his he joke? Started his joke was... It's cool when they do it. <laughs> His joke was uh, that he was, uh, he was... He was being interviewed, and they asked him about his girlfriend, uh, Halle Bailey's experience with racism, you know, being the black... Mermaid. Mermaid. And he was like, I thought racism was over. I thought Martin Luther King took care of that. That nigga made racism sound like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's still on. Or, 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 or a video <laughs> game, game. I thought Martin Luther King beat yeah, that game, man. You know. He did not. King Cooper, that No, nah, he did not. Yeah, he so he did. said that, and then I made a video where I was like, ooh, man. And I was like chomping my gum real hard. I was being completely unlike myself, which is an indicator that it's a joke. And I said, um, you gonna have to break up with him. You got to break up with him. And <laughs> like that shit went crazy. That shit wow. went like I I was by the way I was in Toronto doing shows and like I'd like put post that video and went on stage. I looked at my phone and I was like, what's going on in my phone? And that was all kinds of you bitter bitch. That's why you still single bitch. And then See? but but this is what happens. You Which know you? they gonna say all of that and then they'll go look at my Which page you? and then like send me and, and then come back like. Okay, you got a man, but he don't love you, bitch. Yeah, they're going to find right. something. It don't matter what it is. There's no need to even address it because they're going right. to find something all the way. That's why you need to get a dog. I'm like, I have a dog. Fuck uh, your dog, bitch. Exactly. So they I don't think that. social media get to see like a certain side of you. They don't get to see the side of you that we know. How do you, beat, how do you beat the angry black woman label? I don't need to beat the I am an angry black woman. Most black women are angry. We about have what? shit to be mad about. What y'all mad about? We mad about how they treat black men. We mad about, yes, we are mad about that. I did not know we made the list of shit y'all gave a fuck about. You do black know men, that, because we I got are too much shit in, my in the street for y'all. Oh, black women give a fuck about us. Yes. Go. It's back on, nigga. All right, man, I've been through that. <laughs> it's back I've on. I've been through that. We are I've always in the that. street for y'all, every time. We are always in the street for our brothers. And I mean, people t people always say, oh, man, it's still hate black men. I'm like, okay, whatever. But that's bullshit. The truth is. I told him to say that after you blocked me. <laughs> well, you always say I'm mean, man. You know I'm not mean. But I started that. I'm sorry. Since we let shit go and then <laughs> I put that in the street. Clear in the air. Yeah. Clear in the air. <laughs> Block. Watch this. Watch this. God damn it. But I don't know. I mean, I think um, I think it's not even that. If people followed me on social media, they would see a, a range. But if you only see me on like blog site, like gossip blogs, like they're only gonna post me when I'm saying something controversial. And when I say controversial things, I say them loudly. You know, I usually use I wanna like, do a social experiment. What you wanna do? I wanna just, one day I want you to just agree with some shit that they ain't gonna even think you're gonna agree with. Like a Trump supporter. Not even, not, no, that's too far. Uh, that's too far. Nah, I mean, if we gonna go there, let's go. It's let's too far. Fuck it. Let's that's do a real that's social the, that's experiment. That's the opposite. Like, you know, I'ma still get the same shit. It's just like when you, you know, was not fucking with a relationship and then you tried to fuck with it, you got the same results. Like, if you go extreme to extreme, you still yeah, you got. Yeah, it gotta be right. some subtle shit. Subtle shit. Subtle like what, though? Like what? Like what? How subtle can you get? Like she's. That's the thing about you. Like you have, <coughs> you have. Yeah, you have. You always make sure that you, like you said, you front line when it's anything that is, you know, 
detrimental to the the black people, yes. to black causes, yes. to whatever cause you believe in, whenever it's something that's opposite of that, you're front line with it. So what is the subtle shit that you could do with a map to seal? I don't know what subtle you could do other than some extreme shit. Like, it's the only thing. I don't know, but honestly, what I What if she would have did like the rapper boyfriend shit? Like, instead of break up with him, been like, smart. He's a genius. I see why you like him. Well, why would I do that? Just to fuck, <laughs> just to fuck with them people. <laughs> I be want to do shit on the internet just to see what the fuck gonna happen well, sometime. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Lewis Bell. You understand me? I will be in the ATL March 16th. Get your tickets right now. I'm at the Atlanta Comedy Theater Underground. Pull up on me. Yes, law. Hey, what's up, Mobile? March 25th. I'm coming back to the Sanger Theater. You already know how I do when I come down there, Mobile. So look, the night before we in New Orleans, then we're gonna shoot across and come to Mobile, cause I figure why be that close to Mobile and not go to Mobile? March 25th. You ever want to just switch baby mamas? You ever be fucking another nigga baby mama? Like, damn, ooh, I wish I would have nutted in you first. Get your tickets. Don't wait until the day of and show up and get the tickets. Buy the tickets before the show so we can keep the tour going. Yeah, because the people who own the theater don't believe y'all coming. And if y'all don't buy a bunch of tickets beforehand, they not gonna believe in me. And I know that I got the streets on lock, but I got the type of audience that be wait. Don't wait, this, this ain't one of them situations. March 25th, Mobile. What happens on the internet, when you do shit like that, nothing happens. Like, it, like there's no- There's no response, there's it, no doesn't, response. it doesn't catch. It doesn't catch, Yeah. you know? Like when you are actually just chill or you agree with some shit, people don't wanna hear you agree with some shit. They That's don't, right. they, people get riled up because you don't agree or because you saying some shit. Actually, you know, even when I say some shit that I feel like is 100% just a legit statement. I remember I did a video where I was talking about how a lady, uh, I, was, I was in a fitting and I was talking about my man at the time and I was like, you know, he just fucking up. And she was like, that's why you need to get you a white man. And I was like, no, I just need the nigga that I'm with to get on the good foot. And these white boys ain't no better. Like, why, like, why are you, why would you act like that? So I made a video talking about that. This turned into Amanda Seals feels like she can tell black women who they should be dating and needs to stop trying to dictate <coughs> other women's lives. Wow. People made YouTube videos about this, like. Oh, it's one day he got a whole channel dedicated to you. Really? He, he just he, respond to everything you say on social media. Yeah. He'll play you for like five seconds, then he'll be like, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about, black men, pay attention. Yeah. Listen She's to the plant. verbiage. She's a Listen plant. to the verbiage. She's, been She's put using in. a lot of action words. Yeah. Notice how she talks with her hands. Yeah, all the way. See, that's what's wrong with black women right there. They yeah. love to that's talk the with their hands. I yeah. don't get this shit. Yeah. I have a real fan. That's a fan. Yeah. Bro, me and this nigga, we watch a lot of media. We, I send him a lot of shit back and forth, bro. It's like, sometimes we hear some shit so ridiculous. I don't, I don't even know if I'm black. 
Especially you know, like with these relationship you know, podcasts and shit. Yeah, they don't. The I don't want them to. Be I definitely that. do not want these people to know me. Yeah. I but want them to me. think exactly what Whatever it is they, they think. think. Yeah. I'm, I'm good right. right here in this spot. See, that's my problem. <clears throat> I'm a cancer. So I actually do be caring. Like, people will be like, oh, I love that you don't give a fuck. I'm like, where did you get the idea that I don't give a fuck? Oh, because I'm, like, verbose about yeah, my opinion? boisterous about your opinion. Yeah, but I still absolutely care when, like, a community that I love misinterprets me or, like, tries to call me. Like, being called an op is, like, it's just, first of all, I don't even know where op applications are. Like, I don't know where you pick up the op t- status. People are like, you getting paid. And I'm like, who's get, I, who is getting paid? And how much are they getting paid? Because I've never heard of anyone actually getting paid except for one person. I don't even speak their name. I so, know that person you're talking about. Yeah. They got paid. Huh? They got paid. And but they fucked the money up. They fucked the money known. up. They fucked it up, though. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Have, do you ever, have you ever been wrong on something that you, that you went? After the fact. After the fact. Have you ever been you know, took a stance on something, something that, and then turned and said, you know what, that wasn't it. I'm wrong. I was wrong. Uh, have you changed your mind about anything, Amanda? <laughs> As of late, well, first of all, let me just say, I don't just say shit flippantly. Right, of course. So that's the other thing. I think people really, really be thinking I'm talking on my neck because I got a bonnet on or because I don't have makeup on, but it's not. Like, that's a fully formed thought. But That's what makes the shit believable, though. If you I feel was, strong enough to jump out there with no makeup and a think, bonnet. I don't think it's that I was wrong on certain things, but I think there's been times where I wasn't sure and so I didn't speak on it. And I think I could have maybe spoke sooner. Okay. You feel me? Um, and then, the, I, you know, there's times where I feel like I feel like I gotta say something because everybody's saying something. And so I, I cut that shit out though. I'm not doing that no more. Like at the end Speaking of the day. just because it's something to be spoken well, because people be, will be like pressuring me. People will be, be like, bitch, you better say something. Or what you think about Kanye? What you think about this? Or what you think about that? Like, how do you, how do you decipher? Like, does it have to be something that you're really passionate about? Yeah. But, or <laughs> well, playing devil's advocate, you've put yourself in a position where you speak for so many people when they come to you and say, hey, we need you to, we want to hear what you think. How do you turn them turn away and say, nah, not this time? <coughs> I just say, if I don't got nothing to add, I ain't going to say shit. If I'm going to say the same thing everybody else is saying, why do I need to say anything? People want to hear it in your voice. Sometimes it just feels <laughs> like I'm being redundant. So I, you know, if I will. See, but, but they want to hear you say that type of shit. But I'm a philosopher. I do exactly. say this. I'm saying they want to hear that shit like redundant. Nigga be like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to say yeah, one of them. That, that, yeah, 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 that was intelligent. She, she went mouth. to school, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what she say that redundant. shit, oh, bro? That just means nigga, that what you hear, nigga. Nigga. Oh, redundant, redundant ass, nigga. nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nigga, I would have said repetitive, but I ain't even think redundant. Yeah. So you got to remember, sometimes when you, when you, you don't want to react. You got to remember what Rick Ross said. Don't never forget about Lil Bro them. I mean, I just, so honestly, I, I don't even be knowing that Lil Bro them is even paying attention. Nigga, yeah. Lil Bro them there too. Yeah, they fuck with you. Lil Bro them the fuck because with you. Because sometimes, even if they disagree, they still, you might be their favorite motherfucker to disagree, disagree with. with. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, and, and that, you know, that right there gives people a, a another option, another level of, of thought, you know, because if you, you know, sometimes, like you said, we watch a lot of media. Sometimes I'll just all day don't watch nothing but Fox News just to see what, what the, the fuck other, you disagreeing with. Just to see what the other side I know. is saying I know that philosophy and thinking. Is, is, is tough. But, but I mean, but it's like your, my ability to be able to do that is just so I won't be shocked when I see this in the real world because these are people, yeah. they're speaking for a demographic of people that we are amongst. So I think that you shorten yourself by not allowing yourself to have that perspective. And that's what you provide for a lot of people, even if they disagree with you. They need to hear it coming from you because you speak a language that they understand versus some people that, you know. Well, don't. I will say this. There's times where I feel like there's things being spoken on by folks that may have the heart, but not the articulation to like, well, not, articulation is not the word, but they may have the heart, but not necessarily not necessarily the 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 capabilities to really get what they're feeling out through their words, right. you know? And so then it ends up 
getting fucked up and then it ends up getting used against them and it ends up getting discombobulated and contorted. Is this about me? <laughs> you know? Is it? Is this my life? Sometimes. <laughs> but you just don't give a fuck to correct the shit. That's the only difference. You know I was I mean? born like that. You don't mean no harm by none of the shit you say, but you're going to say what you say. And that's a, there's a place for that, too. But I think people specifically come to us for those type of things. Yeah. Like, and that's where you yeah, have you know how same. to dress that shit up. Huh? You know well, how to I dress it up. I remember telling you, you were way. smart. And you were like, I don't know. You, like, literally knocked me down. I don't want Not these. Really, I'm, I, I got I an like, image to uphold. You are smart, Carlos. Oh, this nigga's brilliant. And he was Shut like. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I mean, they lying. Like, this <laughs> <laughs> Fuck school. Do drugs. I'll never forget it. Drive bags. Automatic that weapon. This like, nigga is brilliant, <laughs> nigga. Like I'm 07. talking about for real. <laughs> that was like 06, 07. Brilliant. That's Damn. how far back that was. I, rem- I will never forget it. The text is probably still in my phone because I'm a, I'm a text hoarder. And I said, to, it, it's probably in a T Mobile side. Side head. note. Why? Why you do that? Why are you a text hoarder? I think I, I mean, it's a transcript. I love being able to go, I do love seeing progress. I love being able to go back to things. And I really like, will like remember something and be like, oh shit, you know what? That was, uh, you know what? I think Chico has said that to me. And then I can like go back to the transcript. And just in case a nigga ever try you on some shit, be like, ha ha. Yes. I mean, I had a situation like that recently and it actually, it, it made the argument not an argument. Because I had the transcript, so there was no he said, it was, it was my homegirl. But it was no she say, she say. It was like, see it right here? And it was like, oh, damn, all right, all right, all right. And now we was on the same page. But I want to state the fact that you told me, well, I, I mean, ain't nobody going to sell me a bucket with a hole in it. <laughs> that was your exact words. You're like, I'm not stupid. Ain't nobody going to sell me a bucket with a hole in it, but I ain't going to say I'm smart. And I never understood why you didn't want to be given that <laughs> that title. <laughs> mm. Is it too much pressure? No, it's not. It's just that Is it? I, I don't even know how to, I don't even know. Just trust me on this one. I'm fair. Just trust fair. me on this one. But I know you're smart. Well, if they, like, but I'm saying I know you're though. smart, just like y'all know that I love black men. Right. right. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's the same that. shit. That's smart, yeah. funny, and black, like. Where, where the brand now? From? Where was the inception of that? It's which, like that's her I, eighty-five song. I know, but what I've done, and it's very, very fun. You know what I mean? Like you, you got mad at me for one of my answers. What was the last question you asked? If you could take two black people, what was the? I can't remember what it was. Well, I don't know. It that was like was if you could another time. It was nineteen. Yeah, it was like something about if you could take two black people something, and I said O.J. Simpson was one of my answers, and you got mad at me. <laughs> Because I said OJ. Yeah, he was like, no, we're not fucking no, not OJ. I'm like, why not? That nigga is essential. He don't even consider himself black. It doesn't matter. That's the reason why you need that nigga in certain situations. OJ had to be the first. (laughs) I'm not black, I'm OJ. That's what I'm, and you got to think like that. Like, being a nigga, sometimes you have to be a nigga. Like, sometimes you have to be black. Sometimes you got to be OJ. When have you ever had to be Carlos? And not a nigga. When have I ever just like had to be? I can like, tell you a few times. <laughs> See? That's what I'm saying. Like, I done had to be, I had to be a, a nigga. I couldn't be nigga. nothing else but a nigga We've in this situation. All, and that's the thing. In this situation right. with us, we'd have been around each other in every type of situation. So I've seen him be Carlos. I've seen him be a nigga. I've seen him be black. He see me be Chico. He see me be a nigga. He see me be, we've all seen it. We've all been put in these situations to know, to be comfortable with anything was to happen. You're cool with knowing that this person is beside you. And I think that's what right. a lot of people Cause see. Cause if you just go out here and just try to be black, you're gonna get taken advantage of. Oh, without question. When they push your blackness, you have to be a nigga. Absolutely. Yes, do not keep the, the nigga you... Let me tell you, as a woman, when they push your womanhood, you have to be a nigga. Right. That's a whole other And thing. then you turn into Queen Latifah on them motherfuckers. Because I feel like... <laughs> Who you calling a bitch? No, nah, I feel like ain't a nigga or a bitch gonna just, like, try Queen Latifah. Like, Tiger had tried me at the BET Awards, and he would that not That sound move. like some shit he'll do. <laughs> he would not move out of my seat. And I, and I was I was in a beautiful tangerine dress. I would have spit that nigga lyrics at him. I wouldn't <laughs> shake that nigga hand with a broke hand. 
<laughs> Shout out to my nigga Tiger, bro. That's and, my dog. You know, I had to like really dig in my nigga bag and was like, move Did he the move? fuck out my goddamn seat before this shit turns up into something else. And the security guard was like, come on, bro, let's just let's just move. But like, I, I don't want do do to that, that. That do you think that people don't? Nobody wants to have to do that. that because That's you are so intellectual struggle. and because you carry yourself the, the way that you do that people think that you don't possess that because that's not something that you put out into the public do you think that that's taken advantage of on your or have you had that be something that people try to take advantage of until you show like hey motherfucker wait a, wait a minute nigga yeah. I ain't that type nigga, of nigga me fucked yeah. up she wrote yeah, a song yeah. about I it I literally wrote a song about it yeah. yes I def yeah I mean I've had that I've had that in work settings where it's like, oh, you really, why are you trying, like, why are you trying me to this point? Like, cause I'm. Here we go. February 3rd through the 5th, 2023, Summit City Comedy Club in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This shit falls a fucking way, but I'm still doing them. February 24th through the 26th, I'll be at the Improv in Dania, Florida. Where the fuck is that? I don't know, but I'll be there. March 4th, Variety Playhouse in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh shit, I got some Atlanta shows, nigga. We in here, the squad coming out for that one. Two shows at the Variety Playhouse. That sounds like a strip club. They got me working at the strip club? <laughs> Fuck it, I'ma do it. All right, there we go. All right, last, April 8th, 2023, I will be at the Mirage in Las Vegas. I'm back at the Mirage, man. Sold that bitch out the last time y'all came out. We gonna do it again, the Mirage. I had a suit on and all that, and my shit still was like this. I'm trying, I'm keeping things professional and above board because that's what we should be doing, but you really pushing me to a place where now I have to demonstrate that I will not be pushed to that, for, I will not be pushed past that. And then you have to show that, and then everyone's like, oh, okay, now we understand, now we understand. Yeah, that, 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 and that's no fun. That aggressive email. That, yes. <laughs> so you gotta, per, your, per my previous email, but with a, a couple motherfuckers in it. Yeah. And you know, well, who wanted to do I that? I feel like, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, as who black people, we should have exclusive rights to do shit like that. Like the company sent out an email, right? And then, like, they send it to you, and then they let you retype it for the black employees. <laughs> Attention, yeah. all niggas, go yeah. to the group chat. I right. can't even email it in this one. Right. Go but to see, the back the page. Up part is white people are sneaking in there. Y'all ain't finna believe man, what these gonna motherfuckers do. White people, people gonna sneak in there, man, and they, they gonna fuck it up. Like as soon as you go in there to heat your lunch up, so, uh... How'd you feel? Well, how'd you guys feel about that little situation that happened? I'm fucking with you. And what you said. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is gonna make but you But this mad. the fucked up part, is they got their own separate shit. They yeah. true. They got their own nigga. separate shit. <laughs> oh, no, nigga, we don't America even get... America We don't live in America. Shit. We live in the United States. Yeah. They live in America. Yeah, exactly. That it's shit different, totally different. Totally different. It's completely different. All the way but down. we only, that's a long conversation. Yeah, in the back to smart, funny, and black, because we got yeah, that. That's ours. Wanna, yeah. You want to get deep, because I feel like you could articulate yeah. it and not be redundant. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Because I want to hear more about that. Man, white like people we, live in America. Right, white people live that in America. That means they can move freely throughout. We live in the United yeah. States of America. Where we have to be subject to whatever. The we laws are subject are per to state. where we are. Wherever per we're state. standing, we're subject to that Those law laws. in that area. You know what the distinction is? Uh, like on top of that, it's the United States is the country. Yes. America is the company. There you go. White people are invested in the company of America. Right. We are employees in the country. Of We're the not employees. States. We are property. Yeah, we are. Mm. We are property. Service. They're citizens. We're property. Yeah. Yeah, because you. I was watching I mean, this in shit, Louisiana right? Louisiana still. Did you know? Now check this out. I'm gonna show you some shit. This is how crazy it is. They be dropping a little shit and other shit because they know we ain't gonna watch the shit. So I'm watching this shit, right? Did you know that motherfucking one blue fan tuna? This motherfucker worth a million dollars. Yeah. Did you know they have to have a federal agent there before they can pull this shit out of the water? That I did. Not before know. they can pull the whole fucking fish out of the water, it has to be a fucking agent there. To fucking what? I'm saying they can't even pull this shit all the way out the water until he get there. Because. That's the law. 
And guess who can't fucking get none? Nobody. Yeah. And they only give out about, you can only have, they only got a certain amount of motherfuckers that they even let do this yeah, shit. Yeah, you have to have a license. And you can only sure. catch a certain amount, and when you catch this bitch, it's gone. They sending that shit to the people who buy them for. Exactly. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. When you say the, the company, who makes those rules? Who Nigga. makes those laws? Like, well, that's, that's, I think that's the, the real thing that a lot of people are, are starting to understand and, you know, um, and question, you know, who is actually really running this place and who's no, actually it's, really running the If it's the a world. company, who own it? Whoever own the company is and the that, motherfucker making it. And there's a very small it. number of people. Like, there's a very small number of people. But I think, you know, for some folks, I think they love, like, bringing shit up like that, but they're not really trying to figure out how to change it. You know, they just like knowing that they know. And I think for other folks, they don't want to know because they can't change it. And it's just like, if I can't change the shit, then why the fuck do I want to still carry that weight on me? Of knowing. Of knowing. You can't Let change shit around here. This but not that's your shit to like, change. I just had this conversation about living well, that, in D.C. you can't think that way. Because you can because it's real. Because if, in D.C. If, people, if enough people thought that way, we would not be. Here I right come now. from the city of, the, uh, of politics. And when you get to see people who make the laws ignore the, the people who need the most help. And then you get tricked, I ain't gonna say tricked, but then you get coerced into being gung-ho about vote, vote, vote. Every people have these niggas, man, that's what we said. You wanna know what we said on the rest of this video? Go to that. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what we're doing, we are now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they didn't finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on Apple it's just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Or they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I think we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. It's Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free. What about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Got somebody read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard you. We hear you. We win and did. We'll That's just get the fuck on out your way. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it? I think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry and we up. We should put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you. Slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh. Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like the deep thrust? Go get it on me. Everybody got the deep thrust. Shit, man. Go get it on me. Everybody got the deep thrust. 
That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of types of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the we app. Got sport shows. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teach. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit looked like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. They didn't, on the e- app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No they don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a five thousand dollars on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh right. man. No we got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the app. Yeah. So if you want to see. Some shit that you know they trying to hide from me. Go to that. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is $8.99. Yeah. Yeah. What Lo said. Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We work for free. We are going on app, baby. We are going on app. We on your way to fly. Oh, yeah.